better and you are welcome to the Break Digit show. I'm very sorry I've not done any episode of Break Digits for a short while now. That was because I went doing some other stuff like wedding videos, corporate documentaries and or just having my ass on the stuff. And uh, I think it's all good because they have enhanced my knowledge into how I want to be producing web break digit show for you. So today we came across Check Along. Check Along is a cap sharing startup that is here to help make life easier. Honestly, if you are in Lagos, you are really going to so to this website. So together with everybody, join me to welcome Mr. Bolariwa Motoni. Welcome, my We are glad to have you on the show. So my first question to you would be, we have, you, uh, we have a startup that tells almost the same thing that you do. Um, I think we are called uh, Kabu Kabu. And of course, we have the Uber who comes to Lagos <laughs> and everything. So why do you think that these two startups were not enough? Like, what makes you want to create another transportation app? Check out. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, like you rightly said, check out is it's not actually just a cab sharing platform. Okay. Okay. It's, a, well, it's a ride sharing platform. Also. So, okay. um, um, prior set of ride owners, riders are ride owners, private car owners. Okay. So, it's not the regular cab sharing. Okay. So, we have ride owners, and one of the things actually was support the idea for me because the guy is the father. And it's a good day, and you're on top of the bridge. You see several cars. If you look through one or each of them, you see that most likely we have well, majority of them having one police driver. Okay, yes. And we have, we have spare seats in their cars. Mm -hmm. And so when you even look at bus stop as well, you see people that are even waiting for buses. And and these people, have, have, as we are building the idea, we've spoken with several ride owners and they tell us that they, they wish they could have. Um, share with someone. Shared, shared with I wish to, at least. But because of this, this <laughs> risk. They, and they are, they are not sure about, so it's both ways. You that you are driving the car and the person that you want to carry, they, they are apprehensive about each other. For us, we've, we've, we've identified some, some of the reasons why people want to share, right? they want to help people. And there are several other reasons as well. The, the movie which I'll be talking about as we, as we go along going. So yes, it's a mix of both, both sharing the cost and helping people as you go along your ride. Uh, so it's not just about the person that is that is looking for who to share cab with. It's also mm. an avenue for car owners to be able to share some fuel costs yes, yes. inside the site okay. because security is involved here. Yes, I don't right. want to be driving someone and then they ask mm. me, oh yeah, oh. hands down and then they <laughs> yeah, take true. over. So what, what, what security yeah. stuff do you guys I'll, put I'll in place to make sure that people are not criminals? Yeah. 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 So for us, we feel that the trust and safety part is what we're really we will really set this thing up for. There are some people that see this in a traditional way, they still do it at their own risk. So we have focused on professionals as at this early stage. As we grow our capacity, we'll do more intense program checks. The people that will be able to do their checks. So what we do as of today is that you sign up with your Facebook account. Okay. So that's the first point of entry. But another second stage is that you put your LinkedIn profile Okay. So with your LinkedIn profile, we can do a background check on your profile. So that means that, and there are several other measures. So you can you can say that okay, that means I can go and create a fake. Hey, exactly, account I was actually and, coming and create a fake <laughs> LinkedIn account. So for me to even be my background is is in development as well. So uh, one of the things that we are doing as well is that we check several other things. There are some of them that I know for people not to even know what that will check, but we check the age of your account. The age, that means how long has your account been created. Okay. We check the recommendations on Facebook. And this, all these are actually automated. So we okay. check if you have recommendations on your profile. That means maybe there's a particular place that you've worked and you have like several people rec uh, recommending you. Okay. And the, the recommendation is not coming from the same set of people. So a different range of people, which shows that you are credible. And also the, the so for those people that are able to meet, so we have other metrics as well that we check. So for that people that are able to meet those standards, we we'll allow them to pass that quickly. Okay. For those people that that would that have not been able to scale through those um, orders, okay. we we'll now do a manual verification. 
okay. of those people. So and for now, people say that we should open it up to everybody, even though uh, oh, I'm not so. scared. <laughs> so we are, we are ensuring that we take it slowly and focus on the professionals that we can verify. Exactly. So it's very and also when people uh, when, when people want to join a ride or mm. you as a ride owner or you want to as a, as somebody that wants to be driven as a, a passenger, mm-hmm. you you go to their profile. You can see the number of friends that you have in common. Okay. So that gives you that sense of your. So if you see your your your, your neighbor next door, you won't say you will not pick the person on your road. Yeah. So the mutual friends give you that sense of okay, this person is not too distant from me. Also, you can see where the person is walking, how long that person has been walking there. So you can also make decision based okay. on that. And also we we have um, user rating oh, okay. and the uh, comments. Okay. So if for any reason you'll be you didn't like the ride offer, you can. Okay. Come, come on that person profile and, and write a comment or do the rating. What about um? How do these routes? How, how are these routes created? Yeah, so the, the we have um two categories of users on the platform. Okay. So if you sign up, you are just a user. Okay. So the next action determines whether you are a ride owner mm-hmm. or you are you are someone that is looking to join a ride. Okay. So if you are going to be offering a ride on the platform, there is a button on, on the home page that says offer a ride. Okay. So when you say offer a ride, it asks you for so it details your current location and you can change it to, to correct okay. where you are going from. And where you are going to where you are heading to. So it pulls the location. So it's every area in Lagos for now is mapped. Okay. So we are talking about why we are even starting with Lagos. For okay. now, so every everywhere in Lagos is, is already mapped. So you put your form and tour location, and then you put when you are leaving. It's possible that you might not be leaving immediately. Okay. It's possible that you are going to be leaving tomorrow at a certain time. Okay. You put the time. time. So, so you, you go ahead to the next um, the next page, which is your car details. If you are offering the ride for the first first time, mm-hmm. so you supply your car details, the, details the color. Some information so that the person can easily recognize your car okay. when, when they are approaching you. And also, your car information will not be displayed to the general public. Okay. Then just be very clear yes. on that. So, it's only for people that you've actually accepted to be their right offer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's not on, it's on somebody, has, it's on you accept somebody's right, and then the person can see your profile okay. and then can join you. So, it's not just automatic that everybody can, can see you and join you. Mm-hmm. So, the next, so you need to put in your car details. Then, we do for the first time, we actually check the Car information as well from our okay. back end. We have an API where we check if it's a valid car, it has a good, a, a valid insurance, okay. and all of that. So we check from from the back end. Then we publish the ride offer okay. on the platform. So anybody that is searching within your route will find it and click on your on your ride to join you. So you get a notification via SMS as somebody has requested to join your ride. Mm-hmm. So you can click on the person's profile. And view the person to, to so I can get a more inf- be able to make a, a, an informed decision. Okay. Check the person to the person working. Am I comfortable with this person? Then you accept the right. So on the other end, the person that is looking to join right sees the notification that this person has accepted your right. Okay. Then we have a communication system on our platform where you can send each other messages. Okay, that you meet me up at um, so so bus stop close to where I put so that's a landmark. Okay. So it could be okay, in front of a uh, bank, in front of an e tree, anywhere that is comfortable for both of you. Then the right will happen. Another thing I saw on your site was um, the first uh, the first 30 ride is free. So are you guys able to cop the cost of the first 30 rides is right. free? Yeah, so when we launched about two two months, three months there, okay. thereabout. So one of the things that we, we want to do is to the key thing uh, for us that we've seen a problem in Lagos, okay. especially about traffic congestion, people being stuck at bus stops when it rains and all of those issues. So we want to encourage people to be able to come on the platform. So for, for the first 30 rides, the first 30 rides, well, we actually even extended it to even about 100. So it's not just 30 rides for a user. I mean, okay. we, are, we were saying that the first 30 ride on the entire platform. Okay, <laughs> okay, I get. I so, thought I'm going to be riding for a month free. <laughs> so that's what we, that's, that's what, that's what we did. But we actually even extended it to okay. be able to accommodate oh, more okay. people as well. So, okay. so before we are we, we now on payment, payments as well is is being turned on. How's the price like? If, like, if I'm going from here, from Anthony to Victoria Island now, what would I be paying for going? So Anthony to Victoria Island is about, I think it's about, 10 kilometers or thereabouts, mm-hmm. so it's going to be about 250. 
So because what, what, what we are um, saying is this, the, the right owner that you are looking to join mm-hmm. is going to Victoria Island. And you have just done this. Without, without, without way. So picking people is, is not going to be, it's not that major profit, but even though you can get something as a right owner, okay. but it's to help you save the cost on your fuel and yeah. your car maintenance. Although we have some other benefits for ride owners that we've been able to negotiate with some of our partners. What are they? Because I'm, I'm an intent prospectus. Yes, yeah, so, <laughs> so we have uh, insurance. We have um, for people that are on the lake uh, uh, as well, the, the tow, the tow um, e-tag. Okay. So that instead of you queuing up on the regular routes where people are, are paying with, with cash, you can okay. actually join the ETA lane, okay. which makes the, the traffic move faster. Okay. So most of the initiative as well is to encourage the easy flow of traffic. Mm-hmm. We've talked about the third person insurance, we've talked about the, the tow, we've talked about the also um, the car maintenance as well. Okay. So periodically you, you get um, car servicing with our partners, okay, um, partnering wow. services. So so there are a lot of benefits for you apart from even sharing the, sharing the cost at that moment. And it's interesting that most of the partners that we've been working with have, as in, it's been a, it's been an easy because they find it very interesting as well that it can support an idea like this that can take efforts without transportation problem in Lagos. Wow, it's quite it's yeah. quite nice. Which was why immediately I saw you. I said I have to bring these guys to come and talk about this because we've yeah. done it. Um, we've brought a, a cab sharing, but I will continue to bring stuff like this because mm-hmm. I know it's That's a true. major major problem yeah. in Lagos. When my car is not up and running, I'm always afraid to say, "Oh my God," <laughs> mm-hmm. because I understand that the taxes are very expensive That's and true. stuff. So, how many routes do you have now, and how many users base join mm-hmm. the routes? Because we. We are still pretty new. Okay. So we have more than one thousand people sign up on the platform. Wow, that's huge. Yes, and daily. So we have people that are, so because we are targeting professionals, we have a lot of recurring rights. Okay. So we have more than fifty recurring rights on a daily basis. Fifty. Yes, recurring rights on the platform. So wow. well, and we are increasing numbers. We are doing we are driving doing um working on initiatives to drive adoption and target more people. In those organizations where we, where we've actually um, started partnering with them as well, traffic issues in Lagos. Wow, I think you guys have tried with all the things you've told us on the on the platform, platform. the security, the benefit to um, right to people that will be joining. Right. To people that will be joining. So, what's the future plan? Are you guys planning to expand? Yes, definitely. We would we would um, there, there's no we're talking about ride sharing and also. Even for, you know that, like in other states, is, or is it just a Lagos thing? People in Lagos keep getting the <laughs> yes, of course. Would, of would, so, would, um, so apart from intracity mm-hmm. journey, so we are looking at expanding to intercity as well. So that means we are doing a long distance. So one of the offering for us as a ride owner as well is that those journeys are, sometimes can be boring, even okay. within Lagos. You're in traffic alone. So apart from even sharing the cost, there's sometimes you need to even have somebody. Mm-hmm. In your car so to be able to spend that little time with instead okay. of just spending time with you. so if you are traveling as well there's a possibility for you to be able to share a ride when you are leaving lagos to another state okay. so it's not just limited to lagos but we are focusing on so we don't want to we want to really start uh, solve the real the core issues and then we'll go from there so okay. we'll be able to expand to even other cities apart from even apart from the intercity okay. right even within city as well in mm-hmm. other locations like Abuja and Port Harcourt where we have major traffic mm-hmm. issues and we have a lot of ride, um, ride owners on those on those areas wow that is great i think i enjoyed it i i i, I like the idea it's, especially it's pretty much very cheap Yes, so uh, it's just like boss because if yes. I can from Anthony like as we discussed to Thailand at two fifty, I think that's just the same yeah. rate you will pay even mm-hmm. if it's reality. So thanks, I'm really happy to have you in the show. Yeah. Thanks for watching. You know I told you. So sometimes not just because um, only because you have a car, you want to join someone else too that have a car. You don't want to be driving, and you want to you know, and it's quite decent. It's personal cars. Yeah. So I think it's something yeah, that so is yeah, something really that our corporate person says hey, it's cooler than buses, <laughs> it's cheaper than taxi. <laughs> yes, of course, it's than buses, very cheaper much, than taxi. <laughs> very much cheaper than taxi. Don't think about Jekalo. Think about that. <laughs> okay, so thank you for tuning in. Visit their site at jekalo.com. Email them, sign up. Just you know, if you're
you have any question you want to ask them, either ask on the side. If you do it on me, I'll still uh, get across to them and get to you. Thanks for always tuning in until next week. Stay out of trouble, keep browsing. Bye.